Hey, this is Eric with VBAHowTo.com. Hope you're doing good. Today's video is on how to restart a, loop, a VBA loop counter. So, I received a question from an individual, um, and the question was basically uh, how do I restart uh, on a 10 day, uh, let's say a 10 day clinical trial? Uh, we want to record the record the results in a database, and how do we go about and reset the day whenever the the, the negative uh, positive result comes about? So on the ten days, we may have negative results from days one through eight, but day number nine, we have a positive result, and so. We want to reset back to day one and start start the process over again. So, how do you how do you implement that in VBA code? That's what this video is about. And if you like this video, or like any things I say, uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, like the like the video, and. Uh, you want to be made known of any videos I release when I release it. So here is here is my list here. So if I click this button, so where was I? I had to pause the video. Um, days, these days, we're gonna. Increment these and actually, uh, so we can go back later on and see where do we have to with these positive injuries, what day, and what was the most common occurrence of the day. And we can do a lot of a lot of uh, reporting on this if we need to. So again, if I go ahead and delete, if I go ahead and modify this list here, I can go ahead and I have the retally the results. Here are all my different patients. Um, Marsh is a patient. Harold is a patient. Uh, William is a patient. William actually it hasn't been processed yet, but if I look at all this, uh, let's see what happened here. So day 14. So actually the we could stop at day ten and delete these records so they don't they don't make any difference. Okay, so back let's look at the code here. So really the processing is done whenever you click the tally results button. So that's where the process is done. So the after the on click event of the tally results button is the one I'm really focusing on. So if I look at this, I'm looking at here's my here's my code, my VBA window. Okay, so here I'm setting up my main update loop based on the current patient. So that's my current patient. Uh, the current patient test. Okay, so I'm setting up that because what I'm what I'm doing with this here loop is I want to get the the current. If I look at my table here, let me go ahead and I have these different windows open here. I want to get rid of it. If I look at my table here, TBL patient testing. Okay, I want to make sure I update the right, the right, the right record. So here I have an auto number field, PT ID. And notice I have different patients in my list here, and they're all coming from. Uh, these are all primary keys from my table patients. So nothing, nothing new there. So here I have a patient ID. Uh, <clears throat> Harold William and so anyway but I know one thing I can one thing that's going to be unique for all these is the patient ID so I'm going to so I'm going to 
the base of deaths I need. So I want to have that that particular number here. And then I have uh, this record set, uh, record set number two, the result record set is going to be uh, the, um, so it's my select statements, select PTID, patient ID, so my unique record, my patient ID, of course, uh, and what date it is, what date I, is my prior date, and I'm going to select uh, order by order by the PT date, so I get the most recent recent the most recent uh, record result, and then I'm setting my result record set equal to that SQL statement. And then I initialize my counter here, and then now I'm going to hit and looping the record set that I just created. So now I'm going to get a subset of the patients, the patient records for, let's say, Marsha or Harold and all that. So I'm going to get a subset of my records, and I want to loop them. So if they, and as I go to the first patient, if the result is POS, then of course I'm going to get, well, let me go ahead and this is kind of confusing, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a breakpoint here, and then we're going to, let's see, I'm closing this, Let, let's say we're dealing with uh, Marsha here. Okay, tally results, and we're going to break the code. Okay, so now my here my patient is Marsha. I'm selecting. I'm setting my record set equal to that SQL string. I'm now looping through my records, and the first record is going to be a negative. So it, it the result is going to be negative. So the first F. So here my update. Let's see where my update is. Okay, if I'm gonna, I don't want to run a, a SQL string to update my record. So what I'm doing is opening up, uh, just opening that table basically, and uh, not hand entering, hand modifying the record, but I'm doing it through code. And the way I can manipulate it through code is by using this, opening up a record set of that table as a DB open dynaset of the dynaset so I can modify the particular record in that in that table. Uh, I could modify it programmatically. So pretty pretty neat. So first of all I'm finding find first and of course I'm using the uh, the database connection of the database the current DB connection and that's my DAO, and I'm going to update find first. I want to find the record that I'm looking for first. It's, it just so happens to be one. So PTID, so I know I'm editing that record, one line out of all my lines. Next, I'm going to update it or edit it. I want to call this method the edit method now i'm going to edit and update day one and my counter okay because already incremented as one and then i'm going to update so that's like pressing uh enter going down to the next the next line and now i'm incrementing my counter move next now going back here again now, oh, okay, I found a positive. So I want to reset my, reset my, uh, my counter back to one. So it's going to be reset back to day one. Find first which record. I want to go ahead and update this record, number two. And update. And so now I'm going down here, that's negative. So I started, I went back to, 
let's see here so i'm going to negative positive that goes back to day one i'm starting over day one day two so this would be a very confusing especially if you're doing it late at night or if you're confused so this kind of takes a place of all that so that you don't have to <laughs> if you're tired of a long day you don't want to make a mistake so let the let the computer program do it it doesn't get tired the ai okay so then blah blah okay so we want to go ahead and show the records on the screen show my refresh so do command run command ac command refresh is i like to use that to render you could also use do events but uh it didn't work in this case but uh, the it's like pressing the f5 key on your keyboard the do command run command ac cmd refresh and then i'm closing my record sets my two record sets here this is my garbage trash cleanup and some people may leave one out but i don't i just uh <laughs> one is good two is better in my opinion so you may want to leave one out um do whatever you like to do and that's it okay so that would bring and then i could do that's basically the code for all these records if so i make a modification to these i just click tally results and it changes them if i change this to POS and of where I'm on Harold's record, these numbers are going to change. If I click tally results, oh, actually, I want to make sure I don't have the breakpoint. And my tally results day one, day two, day three, day one again, back to day one. Now I know that, okay, I've had to, I had to, I got to day five and then bang day six now so i do this until i get my 10 my 10 results and i can see what patients i had that made it through all 10 results and what the what they had that was different than everybody else why they're why they made it through the 10-day clinical trial why they so there, there's various things that you could do with this but uh hopefully you enjoy this and got some out of it I ho hopefully you could apply it to whatever you're doing and come on out to the blog um underneath i uh, put the link to where you can get all this code at the uh at the link in the description below if you like make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel and uh, or us a comment and say hi because i always like that and of course i want to get the video up to five likes so be nice and subscribe and like bye bye